So hey guys, welcome back to Budget Nomad and welcome to Dacha in Turkey. Okay, let's get started. When it comes to accommodation here, it really depends on where you stop in, uh, what kind of your expectations are for hotels uh, and what time of year you come. Prices here are absolutely crazy compared to other places in uh, Turkey. I managed to get a place for the first week for $130, but then she put the price up for the next week for $140. So I think really the starting point is $140 to $200 a week for an apartment. And that is outside the city. That's a 30-minute walk in. So if you want in the centre, you're looking at at least two, two fifty out of season. I think in season you're looking at more realistic three to four hundred, especially for apartments like this. It really is not that cheap. When it comes to food, there's this place here. I really recommend to Volk. Um, they're really, really nice. I love these kind of dishes. So basically, you get all this for two hundred and twenty lira, which is basically seven dollars. When it comes to food shopping, uh, there's quite a few. There's Sok, Bim, uh, there's also Migros. There's a big Migros here, actually, uh, which is probably the best one. It's near the bus station. If you need anything like toiletries, there's got Gratas, which is pretty good. Uh, it's not the best. Uh, Rossman's the best, but you can go in Gratas. They've pretty much got all the shampoos and you know everything you need. When it comes to things to see and do, this is pretty much the main thing you want to come down, is the beach. The beach, as you can see, is very, very calm. Um, obviously, this is out of season. It's not probably the best uh, uh, weather today. Um, and it did rain, so I think the, the sand is pretty wet, but I don't think it's normally this bad. The only thing is, in this beach in particular, there's not that many places where you can sunbathe, um, which is a bit unusual. I can't see anywhere, where because they've got tables and chairs everywhere. So I'm not really sure where, you, where you're supposed to go to sunbathe. Maybe you can walk around this bit here. Maybe I'll find somewhere later. But as you can see, there's loads of bars and cafes that you can get dinner and breakfast. It's really nice though. It's quite rare really, where you can get restaurants and stuff right on the beach. And it's quite nice. That is actually quite a small little place. You can pretty much walk around it. It's pretty flat once you get near the sea. Ever all the shops and everything are pretty flat. There's loads of cafes, bars. Obviously not everything's open at this time of season, out of season in March. But it is, it's all right actually. I quite like it here because it's like, it's a little bit of wholesome bustle. There's definitely a lot of boat trips you can take here. Obviously you can go on little uh, paddle boats. There's obviously the beach. Um, there's quite a lot of excursions here. I haven't seen any quads or anything like I did in cash, but uh, there's definitely, I think you can rent a motorbike. I'll try and find it if there is, but there's definitely boat trips and stuff you can do. And obviously it's just a lovely walk and you know, stuff like that. But there's no real kind of, as far as I know, there's no real big historical sites around here. So when it comes to internet, you can either go here to Turkcell or across there to Turk Telecom or over there to Vodafone. I recommend Turk Telecom. In any built-up area, Turk Telecom have a really good 4.5G signal um, and they're much cheaper. Um, they're pretty much half the price of, uh, say, Vodafone or um, Turkcell. Turkcell and Vodafone have a better reception. So if you're here for three months, it might be worth buying the Turk Telecom and maybe Vodafone or Turk so just so you've got that signal and just buy a little package. But the problem is the tourist sims are a thousand lira. So whatever you buy, it's going to cost you about it's basically $30 um, to get the sim and then you can get a data package. The packages aren't great, but basically there's the prices. That's the packages there. So for about $12, you can get 30 gigs worth of data and then you get a little bit extra um, for social media. When it comes to money here, what I recommend is Hulk Bank. I found the best exchange rate from Hulk Bank. They only charge three to six dollars in most banks. I've actually got two bank accounts, so I've been trying both. British account to get charged three dollars, Georgian six dollars. So it's still pretty reasonable because most places charge about ten to fifteen, so it's quite cheap here. When it comes to healthcare here, there's not that much here. I think there's a little hospital here, and there, but there are pharmacies everywhere. This is what you want to look for. The, it's saying um, the only thing is you do need a prescription for any any antibiotics or anything so you can only get simple medicines without seeing a doctor if you want to see a doctor it's about 80 to 100 euros to see a doctor especially if they know you're a foreigner so it's certainly not that cheap to get medicine and i would highly recommend getting some travel insurance so this is the only outdoor exercise place i've seen it's right on that pier front i just mentioned um, so there is some outdoor exercise you can get but it's not brilliant 
and for me it's a, a good 20 minute walk to there so by the time I walk there I probably don't want to do it. <laughs> As a budget nomad nowadays I embark on my wildest ventures with confidence. Introducing Safety Wings, your shield against the unexpected. Whether you're hiking, surfing, exploring cities, Safety Wings has you covered. Travel fearless with Safety Wings. Get insured today. Click on the link below. So when it comes to getting here and away from uh, Dacia, you can actually take a ferry to Bodrum, which actually will save you a lot of time. So I'm going to find out exactly how much that is when it runs, because I might be taking that myself to Bodrum. In the centre, there's a taxi rank, and you see there's quite a few taxis. And so you can get around the city for about three to four dollars. They do, they will use the meter, and they're very helpful and actually very friendly. Um, I actually found some of the best taxi drivers in actually in Turkey. Um, really helpful and actually been really kind and nice to me. Give me their card and any you know any any questions and he tried to help me okay guys that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it please remember to subscribe to the channel turn the notification button and i'll see you next time